Hey everybody, John Foss, Minneapolis, Minnesota. Very excited to be talking with Gary Sinise. We are talking about Motor Trend TV's Barrett Jackson Live. 37 hours of live coverage on Motor Trend Network and the Motor Trend app. And you're giving away an awesome Jeep. Tell us about it. There it is right there. Yeah, we, uh, uh, Richard Rawlings and the Gas Monkey Garage have uh, refurbished this beautiful 1981 Jeep. And uh, they have offered to uh, auction this Jeep off at uh, Barrett Jackson on Friday. So that's all going to be televised on Mortar Trend TV and on the app and all that. So you can, you can tune in and watch that. That's 530 uh, Arizona time on, uh, on Friday. And the proceeds from this particular Jeep and the auction are going to go to the Gary Sinise Foundation to help our work in support of veterans and military families and, and first responders and all the work we do at the Gary Sinise Foundation. It's really, uh, it, I've seen the Jeep, it's just awesome. So tell me about the design of this Jeep. Did you have anything to do with it or did you just let these guys do their thing? Uh, that, yeah, that, that's their thing. They are the professionals. They're, they're amazing at what they do and how they refurbish these, these cars. And, they did a, an exceptional job with that. I, I didn't know what it was going to look like, but they've got our logo on it. And, and it's just, uh, it was, they revealed it at, uh, at one of our home dedication ceremonies in St. Louis. And they showed it to me. They had uh, a tarp over it. They pulled the tarp off. All that actually was filmed for a television show, uh, you know, Fast and Loud on Discovery. It's going to be uh, a two-part episode that's going to actually conclude with the auction of the Jeep at Barrett Jackson on Friday. Tell us about the Gary Sinise Foundation and some of the work that you guys are doing. Yeah, the foundation uh, was launched in 2011. I've been, I've been supporting military families and veterans for many, many years, and eventually I just start, uh, started my own foundation to do some work. And so we're, you know, we're uh, operating a lot of different areas. One of those areas is with our Gold Star children. We have a program called Snowball Express, and uh, we were able to take over 17 Gold Star uh, family members, uh, over a thousand of them children to Disney World. We made a great de deal with Disney and uh, American Airlines provides all the transportation. We took the kids down right before Christmas time. That's one of our programs. Another program is uh, a home building program for our wounded service members. We've been involved in over 70 houses now. Uh, since I started uh, doing this uh, before the launch of the foundation and with all that work up to now we've uh, been involved in over 70 homes. So it's a lot of homes for our wounded. Uh, actually when I saw this Jeep it was at a home dedication in St. Louis for a uh, double amputee who served in the army and we provided him with a specially adapted home. So the proceeds and the you know, the money that uh, comes from the hammer price on this, on this Jeep, all that's going to go to the Gary Sinise Foundation to support our programs. You played Lieutenant Dan in Forrest Gump. Was that kind of what sparked it, your interest in the military, or was that something that you always had a passion for? Well, uh, the, playing Lieutenant Dan really started uh, my work with our wounded. I, I started supporting the Disabled American Veterans Organization right after that movie came out. They, they uh, invited me to their national convention. I started supporting them. So that's a 25-year relationship there. But prior to that, I was supporting Vietnam veterans in the Chicago area. I have Vietnam veterans in my family. I have World War I, World War II, Korea era uh, also in my family. So a lot of veterans in my family, and I've been kind of focused uh, with my attention there going back into the late 70s and early 80s. But all that sort of manifested itself uh, eventually, post September 11th, and our deployment to Iraq and Afghanistan, in the you know creation of the Gary Sinise Foundation. So we're we're trying to put our hands uh, wherever we can to support these military families. I mean, we continue to have people getting hurt and uh, losing them, and it's uh, it's very very difficult for these military families what they go through. So we want to know. Uh, that there's something that we can do. We want to provide an avenue for the American people to support us and, uh, and show them that we're actually doing something very, very special with their generosity. So I encourage everybody to go to the Gary Sinise Foundation. I've, I have a book coming out next month. It's called Grateful American. And you can also see the link to that book on the Gary Sinise Foundation website. And that kind of tells 
the story that I'm, I'm trying to tell you in about three minutes here of how I got involved, involved with the uh, military over the years. So when you guys made Forrest Gump, did you guys know at that time that the film was going to be so iconic or was it something where you just do the work and then just let the cards fall where they may? Yeah, that, that's kind of, you never think you're going to be, uh, you, know, you can never predict how a movie's going to do. You, you, can, you can know that the elements are really working and feeling good. Uh, I mean, we, we were having a great time shooting it and Bob Zemeckis is a tremendous director. Tom was, was great in the movie. Uh, it was a great script by Eric Roth, and we we all felt like we were working on something special, and we were having a good time. But you can't you can't predict how something's going to turn out. But once I saw the movie, we had a small screening for the cast and crew, and and we all looked at each other after the the movie wrapped up, and we kind of nodded with smiles on our faces. We knew that Bob had made a really really good movie. All right, Gary, thank you so much, and everybody, make sure you check out. Motor Trend TV's Barrett Jackson live on Motor Trend Network and Motor Trend app. You may have a chance to get an awesome Jeep from Gary. Thanks so much. Thanks.